Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and this is another puzzle in the Hamilton Sudoku series, a series of puzzles that has been created specifically for me and my channel by about, I think it's about 10 setters, although it's all been done anonymously, so I really don't know the details, and I kind of like it that way. Um, this has just been an amazing gift. Um, so... Yeah, stuff going on in my life has meant I needed some uh, quick to record puzzles that I could churn out fairly quickly before I took a semi extended break. Um, and these puzzles were created for me to celebrate some stuff going on. Um, so um, thank you to everyone involved. So this is What is a Legacy by Alexander Hamilton, planting seeds in a garden you never get to see. Um, so, yeah, um, of course, all of these are based around the musical Hamilton, something that I absolutely adore and spent the last 10 months being just living my life around. Um, that has now left Melbourne, which is a, a point of sadness for me. Um, but um, the if you're not a fan or you don't care about the theme at all, just enjoy the Sudoku. Um, the, the puzzles are still good Sudoku puzzles. The testers, uh, the, all of the setters have tested amongst themselves and I have been assured that the puzzles are still good. So you can ignore the theme, feel free. Um, so um, yeah, let's have a look at how this one works. Um, the details as to why this is happening will come uh, at some point soon, I, I promise. So, normal Sudoku rules apply. In every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits 1 to 9 must be placed without repetition. We have a thermo, um, the brown thermo at the bottom of the grid. And along thermo, the digits must strictly increase from the bulb to the tips. Oh, pardon me. So... This digit will be higher than this. This digit will be higher than this. This digit will be higher than this. They must increase. They cannot stay the same and they cannot go down. And then we've got these German whisper lines. And along German whisper lines, um, adjacent digits must have a difference of at least five. Um, so yeah, um, that's the way German whisper lines work. Uh, I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Not that I'm that worried about time. Let's give this a shot. So um, hopefully this goes better for me than the uh, the what is legacy speech did for Alexander Hamilton because at the end of that moment when the bullet is flying uh, yeah he he gets shot in the chest um, so let's hope this goes better for me so I'm probably going to mark this thermo because this has a maximum of nine this has a maximum of eight this has a maximum of seven maximum no maximum of five because i can't put a six here maximum four four i can't even type maximum three so one two three two three four three four five uh can't be four so this is five six seven this is six seven or eight and this is seven eight or nine so i actually know the high lowity or the polarity of these whisper lines and the reason I know this is on a whisper line, you can never put a five because five higher than five is 10 or higher, five lower is zero or lower. And because of the five difference, once you have something that is high or low, when you grab a di digit that is five different, you will leapfrog the five to the other set. So if you've got high, you will um, eat any digit that is adjacent to it on the line must be low because you must jump the five. So because these are high, um, these digits must be low, and then anything adjacent to the low must be high, and then anything adjacent to the highs must be low, and then anything adjacent to the lows must be high, and then anything adjacent to the high must be low. I think I've got that correct. Now, if this is six, this is one, being the only digit that could be adjacent to the six but these are one two three four giving me a one two three four quadruple in the column so this is five this is not five this is not six um so that's interesting this now has to be six seven eight or nine and it can't be seven because it has to be higher than five so this becomes high the ones next to it become low the ones next to those become high and the one next to that becomes low um and this I'm not sure. It has to be higher. This could be 8 or 9 still, I think. But it has to be higher than 2. So this is 3, 4. Can't be 5. 3, 4, 8 or 9. Hmm. Not sure yet. But there's probably more stuff I can explore. Because this is also high. 
So one of these has to be six. Now, if this is six, both of those are one, but that might be possible. One of these is nine. Now it could be possible I need to look at fives. Let's actually mark all of the digits that must be low and all of the digits that must be high. These must be low. So this must be high. So this is these are also six, seven, eight, nine. These are these are six, seven, eight, nine. And one of these is five, one of those is low. This is not four. Never could have been actually, because then both of those would have to be nine. Um so this ah how does this work? This is the same as this is the same as this. So can I get some weird yeah, no. So I've taken up all of the lows because this is low. One two, this is one or two. So one of these is because of the way it alternates, one of these has to be low and the five is taken up. So because one of these has to be low, I've got the three plus one of those. So these both have to be high. So this is an eight or a nine. These are six, seven, eight or nine, but I'm not sure which. But I'm not sure which of these is high and which of these is low yet. This is one or two because it sees three and four. And once again, I've got three lows in the row. This can't, so I've got the three lows and one of those, and this can't be a five. So that also has to be high. So one of those is low, one of those is high. This, ah, this is low because I've got all five this is on a whisper line. It can't be a five and I've got all five highs. Orange is low. So orange becomes low. Purple becomes high. I should have seen that earlier. So this is one or two. This is one or two. So this is high. So it's not three or four. Um, hmm. So I've now got the all of the whisper line coloring this is not seven anymore because this has to increase i forgot the thermo so what's the trick i'm missing what oh one of these has to be a five and it has to be that one because that can't be a five so this is a low digit This is one, two, or three, four. Hmm. These are one, two, and three, and that can't be a three. So there's a three in one of those two, which means this is one, two, or four. Three in one of those two means one of these has to be eight or nine. This has to be five now because of, um, I can't put five on a whisper line and there's fives looking at all of those. I should be chasing fives because now this becomes five. Five goes in one of those two. Five goes right here and now five goes in one of those two. So that's the fives chased a lot. Now four, uh, So this can't be six. So this is seven, eight, or nine. But that one could still be six. This can't be six. So this is seven, eight, or nine, because six has to be down here. And this is seven, eight, or nine. That can't be four. So that is one or two. Because if it was four, both of those would have to be nine. Now I've got a one, two pair. There's no one, two here. So now this can't be six or seven. Because if this was a seven, three and four are too close to it. So this is eight. This is nine. There's no eight or nine there. So this is six. This is seven. 
There we go. This being a six makes both of those one, which makes that a two. This means this is not eight. Six and seven means there's no, oops, there's no seven in either of those. Now this is, I uh, can't be six because it's next to a two. So this is seven or eight. This is two or three because it sees one and four. Now this, uh, this one makes this two, which looks up meaning that's not two. Could still be four, I think. This is three or four. Now this is six, seven or nine, and it can't be six. So this is a seven or a nine. It can't be a six because it'd be too close to the two. So these, there is a six in one of those, but there's also a six in one of those. Not sure yet. So this can't be a six or a seven because it'd be too close to the three or the four. This can't be a six or a seven. It'd be too close to the three or the four. So this is an eight, nine pair. I take eight now and out of both of those. This is a six or a seven now, and it can't be a three. This is not the three. This is the three. Now, if this is a four, both of those are nine. This is the three. There's no three here. There's no three here. This is a one, two pair. So this is the four. Three here means, uh, okay, but this is also eight or nine. Means three is in one of those two by Sudoku. This is one or two, therefore, because it can't be three or four. And it's not two, this is one. Which does mean that could be, can't be six because then it would need to be next to two digits. So this is seven, eight or nine, which gives me a seven, eight, nine triple in the column. So this is six or seven because it sees eight and nine. It, it, I'm getting stuff, but it's actually quite tricky. Oh, this six is looking up. There you go. This is the seven. This is the six. So what's this? This is one, two, or four, and it can't be one. So it's two or four. I've got to put an eight or a nine down here to complete the column. This is low, by the way. So there must be an eight or a nine down here. So this is two, four, eight, nine. Ah, where does four go in this column? Because I can't put it down here. Oh, this three made this four. There you go. And now four has to go up here. The only place it can go is there. This is four. This is one. This is two. The two looks down, making this one. Now, these are now two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, eight, and nine, and must contain a two. So this is a two, eight, nine, triple. This becomes a three. Okay. This two makes this one. Now, either of these could still be six, but this can't be a one anymore, which it couldn't have been since I got that. But I don't know when I got that. It could have been very recently. Um, wow. So this is possible, all of that is possible. It's got to be Sudoku at this point, doesn't it? Like where does four go in this box? It's not in any of those. So this becomes a four, which puts four in one of those two. Four is in one of the, ah, four is placed in this box because it has to go up here. So this is a four. And this is a seven, eight, nine triple. So this becomes the six. So this is low, this is high. There's a seven, nine here. So this has to be the two, three. This is a two, three, which means this is the two, three. This becomes a one. This becomes a two, which means this is not the two. This is the two. So that is low, this is high. So I need to put a six in here. So these are high, 
one, two, three, four, five. These are six, seven, eight, nine. So these are six, seven, eight. This is low, by the way. These are all high because I've got one, two, three, four, five. So those are high. So this is six, seven, eight, nine, and this is seven, eight, nine. So there's a six in one of those two by row logic. Where do I put the six in this row? It's not in any of those because it can't be here because it would see two ones. It can't be here because it sees a six. It can't be any of those because they're not high. Six has to be here. So this becomes a seven. Even though it's between two ones, it becomes a seven. That's really interesting. So now over here, this is two, three, and six. And that's not the six, and this is not the six because it's low. So this is the six, this is the three, this is the two. So this is low, this is high. Seven is in here now. So this is six, eight, nine. There's a two in here somewhere. That makes sense. And these are two, eight, nine. Okay, have I missed a whisper trick? This could still be the six because of the two ones. Two and three, they're all fine. Three and three can be next to either of those. One and three, fine. This can't be the seven because it's now next to a three. That is not the seven. This is the seven. The eight, nine pair makes this the seven, which makes this the eight, which makes this the nine, which looks over making this the eight, which makes this the six. This is not six or eight. This is the seven. This is the nine, which takes nine out of all of these, which makes this the eight, which makes this the six, which makes this the seven. The six takes the six out of there. This is very cool. So this is one, no, I've got five, one, five, six, seven, one, eight, and nine. One and eight is here. So this is the nine. I can take nine out of there. The eight, nine here means that this is the one and this is the eight. I'm going to keep coloring, even though at this point I could probably just get rid of all the coloring. Uh, so one, eight, nine. Oh, this nine has resolved this probably ages ago. This is eight and nine. Uh, where am I looking now? Two and three. All the whisper stuff I think is done. So I'm now doing Sudoku. So where am I looking for the Sudoku? Let's look at this row. I need three, four, six, and seven. So this is three or four because I've got six and seven. So that is low. This is not three or four. This is six and seven. So it is high. This is not six or seven. This is three or four. So it is low. And now I've got three, four pairs. So this is six, seven, and it sees a seven. This is the six. This is the seven. That's very cool. The six doesn't do much. Okay. But it does mean that six is in one of those two and it's not there. So this becomes a six, which is high. I now have all the high digits. So this has to be low now because it can't be five and it's two. So these are three, four and five. And there's a three, four looking at it. This is the five. This is not the five. So this is low. This means this is not the five. This is the five. Now where does four go down here? It can only go here because it has to go in one of those two and that four sees there. So this is the four. This is the three. This is the four. Um, I've got to put a one in one of those two and it's not there. So this is the one, which is low. These are a three, nine pair and the three here will resolve at nine and three. So this becomes high and this becomes low. The three makes this two and this three. Two comes out of there, so this becomes two. This becomes a high digit. This becomes a low digit. I think I've now got all the coloring done. I just need to resolve the eight nines. This nine looks up making this eight and this nine. This nine looks up making this eight and this nine. The nine looks across making this eight and this nine. And 1651, pretty happy with that. Um, and yeah, wow. That is absolutely stunning. Um, I'm so happy to have received these puzzles. This is this is such a wonderful combination to the journey that I am taking. And uh, yeah, hopefully I won't have my two ladies on my side when I die. But um, yeah, just absolutely stunning. Um, I, I, I am absolutely carried away with how this is all working. Um, 
Thank you everyone for sending in the who was involved with sending in the puzzles. Thank you everyone for watching. Um, and uh, as I said, if you've gotten this far and you're like, oh, not more Hamilton stuff, there is a lot more coming. But if you don't like the theme, just play the puzzles. The puzzles still exist on their own. Um, so yeah, thank you everyone. I uh, hope you're enjoying the content on the channel and everything. And as always, good luck with your solving.